Hello, today we're going to talk about putting in a labor request. Um, this is for civilian ATAPs. I only have a military account, but I'm going to show you how to do it is exactly the same. Your codes are different, and I will go over the codes with you at a later time in this video. So for this, you're going to click on labor. As you can see, there's already a date in here. This is the pay period that we're currently working on. All right, so for this, we're going to put in insert row because we're going to add our time. And of course, ATAP sometimes is slow depending on the where you're at. Okay, we want to put in job order type, which so wherever you work type of hours so for me it would be regular there again I'm going to go over the list of different the civilian drop down menu is going to be much larger so bear that in mind so we're just going to put in 80 hours so eight hours each day Monday through Friday and actually let's go back to Monday and say let's change this to nine hours then we're going to insert another row because we're going to say for you you could say that you worked overtime for the civilian but the idea is to show you how to put these in okay and then the type of hours for me I can't earn overtime so we're just going to take um, compensatory time earned now I'll have to put in a premium request for that if I enter this so if you're if you're taking comp time you have to put in a premium request or, or that you earned comp time you have the option but as you can see it puts a red arrow the red arrow means that we need to do another action for this so in this case that I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that in a different time okay so and that is how we do um, our time card just remember that you need to um, save it and then also don't forget to concur it when you're done with your time once your time is completely finished we're gonna hit concur I'm not gonna do that for this because I, I want to be able to um, change this as needed and that's how you do a time card alright so now that I've shown you how to do a civilian time card um, I'm gonna show you the codes that you would use these drop-down menus will be available to you as a civilian employee they are not available to me as a military service member however I can show you the codes to go through so for a wall you're gonna use KC that would be if you nobody knew where you were and we told you we would not authorize your leave without pay or annual leave or sick leave and you just didn't come to work you would carry yourself as a KC which is a wall Make sure if you use comp time, you use the right comp time code, they'll pull up. Any of you that were involved in the furlough, understand what code we use. We use the KE code. Make sure you use the right one. Make sure that for holiday, you put the right. So if you holiday callback, you're going to put less than two hours. You're going to put HC. If you're on call during regular duty hours on the holiday, it's LE. So say... 4th of July you're off but you're on call and your regular duty hours are 7A to 7P you would use LE code. Um, holiday work for GS employees you're going to put HG. Don't forget uh, if you work on your holiday weekends make sure you use the right code HA or HU. If you took or donated blood voter registration or you went and voted and inclement weather for um, leave admin you're going to use LN they will tell you that ahead of time um, if you take leave advanced um, leave sick make sure that you put the LG code you will have to apply for that and get granted that before you can use it leave annual is LA most of your leaves are all L codes now you have except for one you have leave without pay so that's LWAP that is a KA code that is one that we did not authorize you to be on leave but you didn't come in we're giving you or we authorized you to take the day off but you don't have any earned leave time then you would take leave without pay make sure for on-call holiday you put the right one regular duty hours again for you on-call outside of hours is OB 
Then we're going to come down here, overtime if you're on Saturday or Sunday, make sure you use the right code, OW or OD. Regular hours for GS employee are RG. Then you have Sunday premium, make sure that you put that in, SG code, or you won't get paid for Sunday. Time off award, if we give you 40 hours of time off award for that 40 hours that you work or would have worked, you put LY code. Then we have over here, we have family medical leave. They, these are the most important ones that you'll use. Sometimes you might be a union represent, representative, and if you are, you're going to use one of these B codes. Okay, but if you're on family leave, you're going to use these D codes depending on which one it is. If you're on, say, family medical leave for adoption or foster care, then you're going to put DB code. Okay, and then also for family medical leave, serious illness for um, of condition of employee is DD. So that's FMLA and also care family member with serious health um, you use the DD code. So again, just make sure you use the right codes. They're in your drop down menu. Your timekeeper will be able to tell you what codes are primarily used for you, but make sure you use either the Title 38 or non Title 38 codes. And this ends our lesson on time cards.